Do you have a free member that keeps canceling their trial and then re-signing up? Or do you have a membership level that you want to make people require a certain number of recurring payments before they get the freedom to cancel? In this video, I'm going to demo the Lock Membership Level add-on for Paid Memberships Pro. With this add-on, you can lock a single member from making changes to their membership levels, or you can set up a lock at the level setting that trickles down to all members as they sign up to lock them in and charge them installment plans. Here's my basic demo site. I'm gonna install the lock membership level add-on, and then I'm gonna show you the two ways you can set this up to uh, have locks on members in your site. So let's just install, and then we'll update and activate plugin. This is a standard level add-on, so you'll need our standard license or higher to use this feature. So once the plugin's installed and activated, the first setting you need to do is set up the membership locked page. So this is under settings pages. So what is the membership locked page? Basically when a member has a lock on their account changes, they're gonna be redirected away from a membership checkout that would cause a change to their membership level or from the cancellation page if they're trying to cancel a lock level or have a broad lock on their account. So we're gonna generate this page and then I'll show you how you can customize the appearance. So we went to setting memberships, settings, pages in the WordPress admin. And then here at the bottom, you'll see this additional page settings, membership locked. I'm just gonna generate the page, which inserts the page and, in, and the proper shortcode. So then we'll take a look at what it looks like in my editor. So I'm gonna convert that to blocks. So it's a basic page in the site, it's published and it has PMPRO membership locked. If I try to view it, it might redirect me away. Yeah, I don't have a lock on my account, so it's not gonna let me view it. Um, but we'll um, log in as someone that has a lock or put a lock on our account so we can test it. The shortcode on this page has one shortcode attribute you can use if you don't like the default message that's shown. So I'm just gonna replace it uh, with that. The shortcode attribute is called message, and then you can change the default content here. You can say contact us to understand why you're locked. You can say whatever you want here. Um, it's also an option to delete the shortcode from the page and customize the content in your own page builder or just within the WordPress block editor itself. That's your choice, how you wanna handle that. Um, so I just put this default message in here and that's fine. There's no other ways to customize this page. Our plugin will handle redirecting people away who might have a lock on their account right to their membership account page because it's not really a page you want anyone to land on. So let's set up the first way, which is setting up a default lock window on a membership level. So let's edit a level already in the site. We have this enhanced level that charges $25 per month. Let's pretend that we also mail people a new dog training kit with a special collar and a special clicker. I and mean, we wanna make sure that at least they stick around long enough that we recoup the fee for sending them that welcome gift. Uh, it's kind of like baked into the price of membership. So let's say we want them to stick around for a period of six months. Um, here on the edit level settings, we would find this lo lock membership level settings meta box. Click check to lock members from canceling or changing levels after they get this level. Unlock when after a time period of six months. So this means anyone new that checks out for the level is going to have a lock applied to their user account that will redirect them away from a level change or a level cancellation. So let me explain quickly what level changing means in Paid Memberships Pro. So as of version 3.0, we added the ability for sites to let users have multiple memberships at a time. So I could have one membership level that's charging me $25 per month on an ongoing basis like this one. And I could also buy some a la carte levels like a single course purchase, a single cohort or training session. So those could also be managed separately for me as a user. What lock membership level is now designed to do is lock changes within the level group if the level group is set up as a one level per at a time. That means that classic tiered structure where the membership level benefit increases as you pay more in the tier. So if I look back at my membership level, let's save our settings here. If I look back at my membership levels, you'll see this primary membership options is designed that users can only choose one level from this group. Um, so by putting a lock on the enhanced level, it means that the person cannot change levels to beginner or professional. That would affect the enhanced level. It doesn't mean that they can't go buy a three-hour training or a puppy potty training class because so, that doesn't have an effect on the enhanced level. So you just have to wrap your brain around that, how a lock level works in the context of that tiered structure. It locks them from making changes to their membership that would affect the level they currently have. 
So they can't upgrade and they can't downgrade. Think about how you want to handle that and if that's the right choice uh, for your membership site. Um, but they can add on additional levels and we'll customize that per user if that's what you want to do. But I just want to point out that it won't prevent them from adding on additional memberships uh, or canceling memberships in the one per groups. So cool. So we set up a lock on this enhanced level. Let's check out and then we'll see how our individual user gets locked from doing checkouts. We're just checking out for a beginner level. This is gonna put a six month lock on our account. So when we go look at our user account, after this is done, uh, you'll see if I view my membership account and go here, I don't have the cancel link. Usually this would show a cancel link. It would say, cancel your membership. Here you go, that's easy to do. It's not gonna let me and that's not gonna show up until my lock is removed. If I try to access the membership cancel page directly, it just happened to be in a URL somewhere and I say I want to cancel enhanced, it's going to boot me out to this membership locked page I talked about and that we customized at the beginning of this tutorial. So I tried to change my level. I tried to cancel my level. It's booting me to the lock page. The same will happen if I decide, oh, I want professional. Let's check out. Nope, you have a lock on your account. Contact us or whatever message and how you customize this page to appear. For me as admin, who do, how do I see who's locked in my site? I can go to my memberships members list and filter by people who are locked. And that shows me, me, I'm logged in as this admin user. I am locked, yes. You can get more details about what the lock looks like from that single member edit, edit member dashboard. Click show more locked memberships, and then I'll see what kind of locks exist for me as a user. So I am the admin of the site, so I can obviously remove my own blocks. So I can delete this one if I don't wanna be locked for this period of time. So it's April 1st, that's October 1st, six months from now. Let's say I want to go another route. Rather than putting it on the level itself, I found out that this user in my site, Tyrone Young, he kept purchasing, canceling, purchasing, canceling these trials. Uh, he's gotten a ton of refunds. I just think, don't sign up for my site. I don't want you to be a member. You've abused my system. I can select a single user and add or update a lock for them. So I can say, add a membership lock. I can lock for all membership levels or a specific level that the user holds. In this case, I wanna just lock all levels and I wanna never expire that lock. I could also set a specific date expiration. So for this example, let's say that he signed up as professional, I just wanna lock him uh, a month from now. I'm gonna give him a month more of membership. That's what he's prepaid. And then I wanna lock and I wanna expire the lock and remove it uh, at that period of time. So I can add a single lock to a single user. So that's the two ways. You can set it up at the membership level so that any new checkouts that happen have their lock logic automatically applied to their account and the changes. Or you can target a single user and manipulate the locks on their account. I'll just point out one last thing. You can set up two locks that kind of have overlapping logic. So let's say uh, we wanna lock this professional level. We can add a secondary lock of all levels for a different period of time. Um, that's maybe till the middle of the month, whatever we wanna do. I don't know that this makes sense, but you could have a lock that expires at a different window. So we could lock any changes to their membership through the middle of the month. And then for 15 more days, just their professional level is locked. It kind of might make sense in specific use cases. So post a comment if you're unclear of whether you'd wanna do two locks on a single user or just one lock and, and how you wanna set that all up. Cause there's a few ways to do this with the lock membership level add-on. I'm Kim Coleman. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps other people find this content. Give our channel a subscribe to be notified when we release more add-on demos like this one.